another exciting adventure in outer space with Scott McCloud, Space Angel, in the story of The Fugitives. Master Control, this is Neptune Space Force Station. Go ahead, Captain O'Hara. Major, we have a patrol ship overdue. He was on routine patrol between here and Uranus. Just a minute, O'Hara. I'll put you through to the chief. What's that? You mean he doesn't respond to his call signal? That's right, chief. Not a peep. He was on a routine patrol in Sector 3. We received no mayday. The Starduster's in that area. I'll have Scott check it out. Right, chief. Thank you. Out here. Major, get me the Starduster. Yes, sir. All right, Chief. We can be in that area in uh, 10 units. Good. Get back to me as soon as you make contact. Hope that ship wasn't hit by a stray meteor. Could be, Taurus. We'll soon find out. Destination coming up, Taurus. Got anything? I've picked up something. It looks like Space Force, all right. High at one o'clock. Right. Correcting attitude, 15 degrees. It's a Space Force ship, all right, and going like the devil. Switch on your forward view scope, Skipper. That's our missing ship, all right. I'll see if I can contact him. Space Force, Neptune, 4-1. This is the Stardust. Come in, please. No answer. Radio must be out. We'll pull alongside. Space Force, 4-1. This is the Star Destiny. If you hear me, flash your signal light. They blasted us. Quick, get your space helmet on. Taurus, are you? Oh, no. Star, this is Earth Control. Come in, please. Evening Star, yeah. Come in, Chief. Mace, have you had any word from the Starduster? Not since his last report to you that he'd sighted the missing ship and was closing in on her. Why the devil doesn't Scott report in? Let me know if you hear anything. Well, I'm sure they'll be reporting in soon. I hope so. Earth Control out. Evening Star out. That should hold you till I can get you back to the Evening Star. They blasted us. Why, Skipper? Why? I don't know, Taurus. We'll find out later. Right now, just lie still. I'll see if I can get us underway. Did you tell the Chief about the ship, lad? Can't, Taurus. Communicator's out. Emergency radio's out. How about power? We have AB power. Red frozen knocked out. Fort turn jets out. Stabilizing jets out, but we'll get back. Just hang on, Taurus. Without retro rockets, I don't know how we're going to stop, but we're headed for home. How will Scott land the Starduster even if he can get back to the Evening Star? Don't miss the next exciting episode of Space Angels. Another exciting adventure in outer space with Scott McCloud, Space Angel, 
in the story of The Fugitives. Last time, the Chief of Space Force ordered Scott and Torres to investigate the disappearance of a patrol ship. Scott located the ship, but when he tried to make contact, the patrol ship blasted the Starduster, leaving the craft practically helpless and Torres injured. The Starduster turned and limped for home base. Starduster, this is Evening Star. Come in, please. Still no answer. I don't understand it. Dad, I'm worried. Something must be wrong. Chris, we've got a blip. There's a ship coming this way. It could be the Starduster. Oh, I hope so. It won't be long now, Taurus. Don't worry about me, Skipper. I'll make it. It must be getting pretty close now. Guess I'd better turn her a little so I can see where we're going. The viewer's out, too. Luckily, we can still control attitude. There she is, Taurus. We'll have you in sick bay in a few minutes now. I, me, you, and the Starduster. Unless you've got a way of stopping without retro rockets. I'll have to cartwheel the ship, Taurus, and break with the main power. It might work at that. It better. Crystal, look out there. It is the Starduster. Something's wrong, Dad. Their approach is way out of line. They must be out of control. They're falling toward us. I'll have the emergency crew stand by. Attention, all personnel. Condition red. Collision imminent. Secure all hatches. Stand by emergency pressure system. Emergency crews, man your station. Here goes, Taurus. Hang on, it might be a little uncomfortable. Don't worry about me, lad. Here goes nothing. Quite a maneuver. Dad, the ship is badly damaged. Oh, I hope the boys are all right. Launch control. Get a tug out there. Stardust's control systems are out. Yes, sir. Dad, look at the blinker signal. Taurus, hurt. Stand by medic. How is he, Doctor? Will he be all right? Yes, he'll pull through, but that blast would have killed an ordinary man. Taurus is no ordinary man. It was worth getting blasted to get a kind word out of you. Oh, Taurus, you're wonderful. Did you find out who blasted us, Skipper? Not yet, Taurus. But now that I know you're okay, I'll get right on it. Don't plan on going anywhere without me. You're not going anywhere for a while, big boy. Chief, thought you'd want to know Taurus will be okay. That's good news, Scott. Any word on the ship that blasted us? Nothing yet. O'Hara's searching the area where you were hit. Chief, tell O'Hara to... Hang on, Scott. Go ahead, Major. Maybe O'Hara's got something. Scott, that was a mayday call. The orbital fueling station at Jupiter was just attacked by the missing Space Force ship. It was piloted by a tall, thin woman and some kind of general. Sound familiar to you? Sure does, Chief. Queen Zora. The evil Queen Zora and her henchman, the general. Will Scott be able to locate them and their stolen ship? Don't miss the next exciting episode of Space Angels. Last off for an 
another exciting adventure in outer space with Scott McCloud, Space Angel, in the story of The Fugitives. Last time, Scott and Taurus were blasted by a patrol ship they were sent to find. Taurus was injured by the blast. With almost all controls out, Scott maneuvered the great ship to a safe landing on the Evening Star, where the doctors assured Scott and Crystal that Taurus would be all right. I'm afraid it's Zorro all right, Scott. And whatever her evil scheme is, we've got to stop her. How soon will the Stardust to be operational? It's under repair now, Chief. Should be ready by 0600. Good. Be ready for blast off at that time. I want you to handle this operation. It'll be a pleasure, Chief. I'll be needing a Space Force squadron. Take the whole Space Force if you need them, but track down that queen. I want her alive. You'll get her, Chief. Out here, Chris, contact O'Hara to scramble his squadron and rendezvous at Jupiter fueling station at six space periods. Right, Scott. Launch control, ready Starduster for extended flight and prepare for pre-flight check. Starduster, this is launch control. You're clear to blast off in five space units. Are you ready for countdown? Negative launch control, all flight personnel not accounted for. Donovan was taking Taurus place. He should be aboard. Well, he was right behind us. I wonder what's keeping him. He won't be here. We decided I would go instead. Taurus, what are you doing here? You need rest. You're not strong enough for a mission. It don't take much strength to push a trigger button. Okay, you old space goat. Launch control, this is Starduster, crew complete, ready for countdown. Roger, Starduster, ready and counting. Starduster, this is Space Force Neptune. Come in, please. O'Hara on channel 37. Right. Space Force Neptune, this is the Starduster. Go ahead, O'Hara. Well, Scott, we found the crew from the hijacked ship. It was Queen Zara, all right. Our ship found them in a capsule. When they stopped to pick her up, she and the general took over the ship and left our Space Force boys adrift. I think I know where she's headed, O'Hara. From the point where she hit us to the refueling station is in direct line with the asteroid belt. Right. She's probably hiding out on one of the asteroids so that our radar can't pick her up. When you get there, Split the squadron and search the asteroid belt. We'll join you there in two space periods. Right, Scott. We'll do. Listen, General. It's the Space Force captain. O'Hara to squadron. Change course far seven degrees. We're going to search the asteroid belt. Sooner or later, they will find us here. We can't take off, Your Highness. They'd shoot us down on sight. They will be looking for ship number 41. You will change our number. Even so, Your Highness. We will not have much of a head start. Flying alone ahead of them, they will follow us. We will not run, General. We will wait for the Space Force to split up and start the search. Then, join them. Just another Space Force ship searching for ourselves. <laughs> yes. Now, change that number. O'Hara to squadron. Asteroid belt coming up. Split up and hunt him out, lads. They are coming, my general. It is time for the fox to become a hound. They will not be looking for space force ship number 39. do not suspect us. And that is fortunate for them. I have the guns trained on them just in case. One false move and the queen will blast them from the skies. Will her scheme succeed? Don't miss the next exciting episode of Space Angel. Stop for a 
another exciting adventure in outer space with Scott McCloud, Space Angel, in the story of The Fugitives. Last time, Scott, Crystal, and Taurus took off in the Starduster. They were headed for an asteroid belt where Queen Zora and the General were hiding aboard the stolen Space Force ship. When the Queen heard that the Space Force squadron was to join the Starduster in the search for her, she changed the number on her stolen ship to number 39 and then joined the squadron. We will stay on this course until we reach the large asteroid Ceres. Then we will go behind it and change course for our home base. Very clever. With Ceres for a shield, they will not see us until we have a good head start. And since we have destroyed the Space Force fueling station, they cannot follow us very far. Harris Squadron just ahead, Skipper. Starduster to Space Force Neptune. We're coming in at six o'clock high. I'm glad you're here, Scott. Seen any signs of anything yet? Uh, not a sign, Skipper. She could be hiding out on one of the bigger asteroids. Heroes and Ceres are coming up. All right, you are, Scott. Out here. Your Highness, that's the Space Angel ship. I thought we knocked him out. Do not panic, my general. I have the guns trained on him. I could destroy him once and for all. No, no, your highness. I will not shoot, general. Unless, of course, this space angel sees through our disguise. Scott, the radar is useless in this asteroid belt. I know, Crystal. We've got to depend on visual contact. Hey, Skipper, something's wrong. What is it, Toys? We've got two Space Force ships with the number 39. One on either side of us. 39 to port, 39 to starboard. Uh-oh. That Queen Zara is pretty sharp. Who'd ever look for her flying with the squadron? She just made a bad choice of numbers. we better warn O'Hara. Can't do that, Chris. She's probably tuned in on the Space Force channel. What'll we do, Skipper? I just can't blast both 39s. We'll let her make the first move. She's trying to get away, probably waiting to change course using one of the big asteroids as a radar shield. Scott, O'Hara on channel 37. Right, Chris. O'Hara to squadron. Well, that group of large asteroids ahead is the most likely hiding place. We'll have to locate them before long. We haven't much fuel left. Split up now and good hunting. I will increase speed, Highness. No. Not yet, General. Uh-oh. Number 39 on the port side is increasing power. And he's going behind a big asteroid. So's the one on the starboard side, Taurus. What do you think, Taurus? Which one? I'd say port side. He's almost at full power. Right. Guess it's time to make our move. Stand by, Space Cannon. They have all gone on the other side, General. Now you may change course and head for the base under full power. We'll meet that ship as it comes out on the other end of the asteroid. Keep him covered, Taurus. I'm going to call him for identification. But Scott, if it is the Queen's ship, they'll blast us first. I'm afraid we'll have to take that chance. We can't follow both ships. Aye, Skipper. It's coming out now. <laughs> They're in my sights, and the crew had better be Space Force. Starduster to Space Force 39. Come in, 39. 39 here, Lieutenant Brown speaking. What's your position, Lieutenant? Right off your port side, sir. Thanks, Lieutenant. You stay right there on my port side. Phew, what a relief. Crystal, switch me to channel 231. What's up, Scott? Scramble the pack, O'Hara. Our fox is on the other side of Ceres. They've changed the number to 3-9. And don't mistake Lieutenant Brown's ship for the Queen. He's riding my port side. Squadron assembled. Target is Space Force Ship 3-9 on the other side of Ceres. They are wise to us, Majesty. Their wisdom comes a little late. They cannot catch us now. Their limited fuel supply will not allow them to pursue us very far. Has the evil queen outsmarted the Space Force? Will she go free to destroy again? Don't miss the next exciting episode of Space Angel.
Blast off for another exciting adventure in outer space with Scott McCloud, Space Angel, in the story of The Fugitives. Last time, Queen Zora and the General aboard the stolen Space Force ship number 39 joined the squadron, flying right next to the Starduster. Torres discovered that there were two ships with the number 39. By the time Scott knew which one was the Queen's ship, she had gone behind the asteroid called Ceres. The Space Force followed, but they were low on fuel supply. No sign of them, O'Hara. They must have changed course as soon as they disappeared behind Ceres. Got anything on radar, Chris? Yes, four Astro Leagues out and moving fast. Trajectory two points off Vector 5. Must be headed for Uranus. We'll go after them. The squadron will have to return for fuel, Scott. We'll join up with you in 20 units. Right, O'Hara. General, they are turning back. But the Space Angel has fuel. He will be coming after us. Fine. We will call our base and arrange a reception for the Space Angel. Say, six or eight fighters? We're still closing on her. She must know we're gaining on her. Sooner or later, she's got to fight. No doubt she has a plan. I'd sure like to know what it is. Scott. If she's using her communicator, I could probably pick her up. Good idea, Chris. Give it a try. Well, there's nothing on the low end. I'll scan the higher frequencies. That's it. Channel 4-4. Four, four. I will lead the Starduster close to the base. Your squadron will pursue and destroy the Space Angel. Well, well. An ambush. Her base must be on one of the moons of Uranus. She's on a beeline for the third moon. What's the plan, Skipper? I'll take the dart and go after the Queen. You decoy her fighters away toward O'Hara's squadron. It won't be long now. Keep a sharp eye. Here they come now, Taurus. Six fighters coming up fast. Aha! We'll lead them a merry chase. So, the brave space angel is running away. After him, you fools. Taurus, space force coming in fast, just ahead and below. Space Force, this is the Star Duster. What's the matter, Taurus? Can't you get along without me for a few minutes? Sure can, but since you seem to have so much trouble finding a target, I thought I'd bring you a few. Wow, well, I'll say you did. Come on, rise up. Good work, O'Hara. Swing back and pick up survivors. I'll go back and see if I can help the skipper. Now I'll take advantage of the one weak spot in the Space Force fighter. The blind spot, right under the tail. Now, I'll let her know I'm here. Queen Zara. This is the Space Angel. You will eject, or I'll blow you out of there. The Space Angel? Where are you? Yes, yes, Space Angel. We will do as you say. No. Do not be fooled, General. He is bluffing. He is nowhere near us. All right. Let's do it the hard way. Stardust, then. This is the dark. Come in, please. Taurus here. We're on the way back. Did you get the Queen and the General? Sure did. They're all packaged and waiting for pickup. <laughs> Just like two peas in a pod. And so ends the story of The Fugitives. Don't miss the next exciting adventure in outer space with Scott McCloud, Space Angel.